हेलो गाइस सभी का स्वागत है दिशी से वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी स्पार्स अरे क्वेश्चन विच इज मीडियम डिफिकल्टी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन मिन मैक्स सम प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी स्पार्स अरे विच इज अ डिफिकल्टी मीडियम सो लेट्स सी नाउ हेलो गाइस आई एम सूर्या नाउ आई विल वॉक यू थ्रू द क्वेश्चन एंड एक्सप्लेन द सॉल्यूशन नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग स्पार्स अरे क्वेश्चन आई विल रीड दिस वन there is a collection of input strings and collection of query strings that means we are given a strings in an input array and strings in a query array for each query string determine how many times it occurs in the list of input strings that means for each string in the query array how many times that string in query array will occur in this input string that is the question written an array of results so our answer will will also be an array so here uh, you can see an example this is the strings array and this is queries array here we are given three strings a b a b a c a b c here he, here we are given strings a b a b and a b c the query string and queries string array is ab abc and bc so here we have what we have to do is for every query string uh, for every string in queries array we have to check how many times that query string is present in this strings array so here uh, as you can see that this ab is present two times in this string query uh, sorry string array now this abc is present one time in this string array and this bc is present zero times in this string array that is the thing here uh, they have given us so here you can see that there is two instances of ab that means ab in this query array is two times present in this string array and one instance of abc this abc is present one one time in the string array and zero instance of bc that means bc is present zero times in string array so our result will be 1 2 210 here uh, you have to notice that our result is an integer array and uh, it will be in the order of number of instances from this query array so here there will be given a function matching strings so here uh, they have given us the function matching strings matching strings here they are giving list integer oh, sorry here we have to return a list integer that means the result the result uh, previously we got it as uh, 2 10 which is an integer so integer list so we have to return that integer list and we are given a list list of string data type the name of the list is strings and the list data uh, and uh, another uh, uh, another list named queries which is of string data type now you can see that uh, the function must return an array of integers representing the frequency of occurrence of each query string in array what they are saying is uh, we have to return an integer array string strings are uh, this uh, strings is nothing but array of strings that have to be searched in and queries is nothing but that have to take uh, each query and we have to search it in strings array int queue is nothing but uh, result array so at first uh, input format is first one contains integer n which is nothing but size of this strings array and next time contains n strings that means each string of this strings array and next time contains q which is nothing but the size of queries array and uh, we will and uh, in next line what we will have is q strings which are nothing but these uh, values of queries array so here uh, in constraints you can see that uh, n can be varied from uh, size 1000 to 1000 uh, to 1 and the number of queries can be 
hear it from thousand to one. That means string array and queries array. Sorry, the strings in string array and queries array can be size of can be size of thousand. Here they have given a sample input and sample output. If you want, I can show the technique which we are going to use for this input. For this input. So this is the input. As you can see this, this is our string array. At first they are given string array. So it is string array. I will write here. String array will contain A B A B A B A A B A X Z X B and our query array will contain A B A X Z X B A B. So what we have to do is for each query we have to write the count that means the number of times that string occurrences in this string array so for uh, our uh, result our result uh, array will be an integer array so this a b is occurring how many times one this is not two two times so for each string in query we are checking whether it is equal to each string in this string array so here the frequency of aba is nothing but two and similarly we will uh, iterate through each element each strings in query array so here we have zx zb so for e in each string of string array we will check whether it is zx uh, xz xb or not so this is not this is not this is not this is not so frequency of xz xb is one and next next element ab so it is not ab it is not ab it is not ab it is not ab so its frequency is zero so this is the result that we have to get so here you can see that 21210 that is the output so here also we got 210 that is the output now shivsa will uh, walk you uh, shivsa will you walk you through the code for this parser is question so guys i will be walk you through the solution here so as they mentioned they have been given a strings array and the queries array so but uh, in this in this function as they mentioned there is a function called uh, matching strings so here is the function so they gave list strings list and a queries list we need to return the integer list okay so first of all for returning the integer list so i will create some integer list here integer list we will call it as result okay new array list so first of all i declared the and i declared the array list for the results which we are going to return right here so we need to find out the count of the each element in the query for i mean each element in the query uh in the strings count so strings are strings list count so i will go through i will use the for each loop here so first of all we need to find out suppose there is a first first query is ab so we need to find out the count of ab in the strings list right so first of all i will query queries i will use for each loop here okay so sorry for here i will mention string query right here okay 
so for each query we need to find out the count so for count i will declare the count int count and for each query we need to find out the count in the strings list so i will use for each loop to iterate the uh, query in the strings so we need to find out whether the this query is present in this strings list so we can write it as if query equals to equals to string right here right so if the query equals to equals to string i will use count plus plus okay so as we know for the string the equal to equal to give the wrong result because it is not the uh derived data type so for strings we need to write query dot equals string okay so for every string for every query in the string array it will increase the count so once it increase the count i will add it to the result okay so let's do one thing let's uh sorry let's return result here so because the result is list uh integer list so we need to return the integer list as well so i will be returning the integer list so first of all we are taking the each query from the each query from the queries list and by using by taking each query we are finding the count in the strings query okay uh, strings sorry strings list so it will check the query whether the given query is equals to each string in the strings list so it will increase the count here so when it will increase the count it will add to the result list integer list so as they mentioned we have to get 210 which means we need to get uh sequentially for a b we need to get at the first for a b c we need to get at the second for b c we need to get at the third so as that so first for first query i was adding first for second query we are adding second so like that we are adding the count to the integer list called name, name called uh, result so let's execute this code right here so as we see it was test it was passing the other test cases here so let's take as suri explained for example this is the query set for aba for first query there are two two strings are available in the st string list okay for xz xb there is only one we found it and for the ab there is nothing in the strings list so it was printing 2 1 0 right 2 1 0 so let's stay see for a second test case so strings list contain de of de fgh and for the queries are a list sorry list we have de lmn fgh so for let's check for the first query de let's check here there is a one de present so we got one de as output and for checking the lmn there is no lmn we got the output as zero for the fgs there is a one fgs we are getting the one fgs here so just we are taking the first one query from the queries list and iterating through the string strings list to check whether the query is present in the strings list if it is present we are increasing the count once the iteration is completed we are adding the count to the result integer list so this is how we are adding the count to the integer list called result and we are returning the result because as they have mentioned list integer we need to return return data type is list integer so we are returning the result here so i will submit okay, the can you submit the code yeah. so as we can see the almost all the test cases are passing right yeah. almost all the test cases passed uh, this is the solution and we can also implement by using arrays as well but in hacker rank they have 
using they have mentioned using the collections itself so we went through the collections here suppose if you want to use uh, using arrays simply you can do you can create some array like int result array equals to new new int so we need to take the size of queries not the strings because strings can strings can contain more number of uh, elements than queries so we need to find out the values for the queries so we need to take the query size so query dot length length okay. so this is size we need to take here so for each we will use the for loop for i equal to int i equal to zero int like that we can get through we can achieve this problem through the arrays as well it is simply it is simple okay so this is the code for this solution i hope you got the solution i hope you got understood this uh, problem and in next video we will see another medium difficulty problem so for this video this is the question don't forget to like share and subscribe milte hai next video mein tab tak ke liye bye bye The fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, although we show up.